This morning in the Eagle Studio, Sherry Jansen with us. Sherry, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing very well. We're excited to talk about this new thing going on with Salem. It's called FOSPA in a Box, which, first of all, is a really good name for this. Yes. <laughs> and so if people don't know what FOSPA in a Box is, what is this? It's FOSPA in a Box. It's all the ingredients that you would have at a FOSPA. We've packaged it into a box, and then the public can order, pre-order, by February the 7th and pick it up on the 12th between 12 and 6 and actually have FOSPA. There we go. And you say each box contains enough FOSPA for two people. And what is in that box? What can people expect when they open that up? So they can expect shingle. They can expect raisin buns, variety of cookies, which are very good. Uh, pickles, jam, zakasteka, butter, cheese. <laughs> I think that's it. It sounds like everybody's grandma's favorites. Absolutely. It's grandma's FOSPA. (laughs) There we go. And it's all happening halfway through February. It can tie in with Valentine's Day. You say these can be great for yourself or even give them them out as gifts. As gifts. Absolutely. And it's something that is unique. And it's a gift that um, people can fellowship around if that's what you choose to do. So, yes. And Salem is... Salem Foundation and the Ladies Auxiliary have always had FOSPAs as fundraisers, and so this is just a take on the FOSPAs that we used to have. And you did mention the number one best thing about FOSPA in a box is it's a present that doesn't have to stay around too long. It's going to be gone by the end of the weekend. Right. Yes. <laughs> and so if somebody wants to order FOSPA in a box or they want to be a part of it, uh, what, what would be the way to do that? They can call uh, Salem Home and ask for Susan at 204 204- Three two five four three one six, or they can visit Salem's website and uh, or pre-order off of off of there. There we go. So you want to reserve it ahead of time, and obviously yes. every single time you get a FOSPA in a box, you're supporting uh, a Salem home. Can you talk about where these funds are going? So the Ladies Auxiliary is raising this money for an Abbey board for the last unit that does not have one, which is Cottonwood, and it's an activity board that um, gives residents the ability to sit. It's like a big giant computer and the residents can sit. They can either drive someplace or when they stroke a cat, the video, a video of cats comes up. Uh, There's games that residents can play and it's, it's quite entertaining for, for the residents and for the staff. There we go. And you guys are just looking to spread that around a little bit. (laughs) Absolutely. And nowadays, especially like we try to, we work very hard at finding meaning and purpose for each resident during the day. And, and so that is one of the reasons why the ladies auxiliary wanted to have an Abbey board for Cottonwood. There we go. Well, Sherry, thanks so much for coming in this morning and telling us all about it. And thank you for having us. And thank you to the community for the support that they give us.